And uh, we got this message on Facebook, right? And it was from this guy's friends. They had actually screenshotted his post. This dude was 19 years old, 18 or 19 at the time. I'm not 100 percent sure, but his name was T.J. Brown, and uh, he had brain cancer, and he was terminal, and he had already been through two surgeries, and he said he didn't want to do it anymore. All right, all right. All the chit chat stops for just a second, okay? I want you to really listen to me here. <laughs> Thank you. So we uh, we see the status. And he had been granted a Make-A-Wish Foundation, which in America is a huge deal. You know, they, they take children who are terminally ill and give them their one true wish and give it to them in life. This dude had given his wish to a child down the hall that wasn't going to receive one and said all he wanted in life was to go hang out with Blackstone Cherry. And I'm like, oh. to, have, to be able... To, to have that kind of impact on somebody, that they would do something that beautiful for another human, knowing their own fate, right? Well, unfortunately, we, uh, what, okay, sorry. We, uh, we were doing pre-production before we came over here in the summer, or before a summer tour, I don't remember exactly, but we got in contact with his friend that had posted that and said, look, we're gonna be at this place all day today. We want you to bring him by, we wanna hang out with him, we wanna meet him. The guy comes in, and it's one of the most genuinely sweet people you will ever meet in your life, right? And it's, 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 I saw one of his friends about the day before we left home. And she said, I just wanted to let you know that, you know, TJ is in the hospital and they're not expecting him to make it through the weekend. You know, sometimes in life you meet people who, uh, who truly have a positive impact on you. And they show you how beautiful things are when you just want to see negative shit all the time. Here's a kid who is fucking terminally ill. He knows that he's going to die from his sickness. But he does nothing but smile the whole day he's hanging out with us. I wish that I could adapt that to my life and wake up every day and just smile. Because I'm not fucking terminally ill. I'm just a dude who gets to go and play music, just like Ben, just like John Fred, just like John. Every one of us in here have no reason not to smile if TJ can smile every day of his life. Now, it's, uh, it's extremely unfortunate that I have to say that um, we got here Wednesday and we got here to the notification that TJ had passed on. And this dude, like, I, I can't explain to you enough how positive a person he was. His favorite song in the world was one of our songs. To the point where he tattooed it down the side of his arm while going through chemo and everything, right? And if you guys know this song, I really want to hear you sing it tonight. I don't want you to sing it for me. I don't want you to sing it for yourself. I don't want you to sing it for Ben John or John Fred. But I want you to sing it for that 19 year old dude that lost his battle this week, all right? If you guys know the words to Peace is Free, I want to hear you sing them as loud as you can, all right?
I want to say something real quick. Thank you all so much for making a contribution to trying to help fight this horrible, horrible disease, man. It takes so many people every single day. I'm pretty sure every person in this room has had somebody in their life affected by cancer at some point. You know what I mean? I know I have. I've lost several family members. Anytime, anytime that we can do anything charitable like this, especially for something like this, man, we will be there with bells on. I promise you. You know what I mean? So, when we do this last chorus, I want to hear you guys sing it with everything you got. Here's what I want you to do, all right? I want every person in this room, everybody in this room is standing beside somebody. I want you to grab that person by the hand, and I want you to put their hand in the air as high as you can, all right? We're going to unite this whole room right here, okay? Everybody. I, I don't care. Everybody in the room, grab the person next to you. I want you to take their hand, I want you to put it in the air as high as you can. Because at the end of the day, listen to me. Listen to me. At the end of the day, when you strip it back and you take away social, listen to me. I really want you to understand this. At the end of the day, when you strip it back, you take away social classes. There are a hundred different versions, classes, races, whatever, in this room right now, right? But when you take it back, you pull the skin away, you pull all the bullshit in life away, all the money, all the cars, nothing that fucking matters, right? You take it all away, underneath we're all skin, bones, and a soul, you know what I mean? Everybody in this room, I think, wants the greater good of every person standing next to them, all right? When we sing this chorus, this last chorus, if you don't do anything else I asked you to from here to the rest of the shows you've ever seen by our band, I want you to think about the people that you've lost in your life to cancer. I want you to think about TJ, a kid who had his whole life ahead of him, who has nothing anymore. He's gone because of cancer. I want to big fuck cancer. And I want everybody to sing this song with everything you've got in your heart. I want your hands up as high as you can get them. Ben, you ready? I want everything you've got, all right? I don't want you to hold anything back. I want you to think about the people who don't have an opportunity anymore. Are you ready?